We've played around with the line tool. Now it is time to check out some other sketch tools that increase the speed and accuracy of your sketching techniques. Open a new Inventor part file and start a new 2D sketch on the XY origin plane. Let's move on to creating circles in the sketch environment. Find the circle command from the create panel. Notice how the icon is split in half, like the line command with a drop down menu. The same technique applies to all the tools that look like this. In this case, the center point circle is the default. You can select the top half of the command for the center point circle or select it from the drop down menu. Note the prompt in the status bar to select the center of the circle. For this, I will choose the origin. As we move the cursor away from the center, the circle will grow larger, and if moved closer, it will become smaller. Select a desired point, and the circle will appear at the point selected. Using the line tool, create three lines as shown on the screen. Select the drop down menu from the circle command and select tangent. Take note of the prompts in the status bar. Select the lines that were sketched. A circle appears tangent to each of the three lines. The last command associated with circle is the ellipse command. Select the drop down menu from the circle command and select ellipse. The status bar indicates to select the ellipse center. Then select the first axis point or the major axis. Then select the point on the ellipse which will create the minor axis. Select and hold or right click and select the OK button from the contextual menu. Finish the sketch. Don't forget to save the file. Provide a descriptive file name such as Circle Practice. In the next clip, we'll check out the Arc Sketch tool.